We can appreciate the Lord in a better way in shout, in celebration. Hallelujah! 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 After we do this, then we'll take communion together. Uh, it says this, verse 20, I, do, I did not pray for those things alone. Because there are other things that he was praying for. He was praying for his disciples. He also prayed for himself. Uh, but when he gets to verse 20, he's praying for now believers. He's saying, I do, I do not pray for those uh, for those alone, but also for those who will believe in, believe in me through their word. Who? The disciples' word. So those who believe, we are believed because somebody preached to us, somebody ministered to us. So he's praying for us. That they all may be that's, that's really the, the bottom line of what we are doing here. It's so that all of us, we may also be one, just as we are one. There's a sharing of this oneness. There's a sharing of this glory. Then he continues and says, I in them and you in me, that they may be made, that is what one, perfect. You may be made complete. Eh? You may be made yani, totally perfect. Ready or that? I have loved them as you have loved, loved them. This is Jesus just this is a prayer. And I don't know if you, you know, normally pray like this, but it's something that we should teach ourselves on how we should do that. And then he continues and says, Father, Father, I desire that they also whom you have given me or have get, you give me may be with me where I am that they may behold my glory as much as they show but they also behold the glory which you have given me for you love me before the foundations of the world continue and says oh righteous father the world has not known you but I have known you and this have known that you sent me and I have declared to them your name and will declare it that the love that the love with which you love me may be in them and I in them so simply it's about us being one with the father us being one with the son us being one with one another us knowing that we are in him for us to share eh? in his glory for us to enjoy eh, his fruit and all that pertains to him we need to be one so i'd like us to share what is in front of you, you can open and uh, i'll pray for the cup and i'll pray for the bread and then we'll take it together and uh, i believe the lord and i know the lord will be with us so you can share communion there together or oh, to to do the nini i don't think i will cut this one uh, this one. <laughs> 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 Pick to us, pick to your bread, and then we'll pray for them. Lord, thank you for you dying for the cross for us. Thank you for being our Lord, for being our Savior, for being our King. King of glory, we share uh, these elements, sharing your blood, sharing your body, that you laid down your body for us, that you shed your blood for the remission of our sins. Right here as we read your word, you telling us that you are in us, you are sharing your glory. You are doing so much, oh God, in our lives as Christians. Lord, when we partake this, we are doing it for oneness. For us to be one in you. For us to be in you. So we bless the drink. We bless uh, the bread. And Jehovah Father, as we take it, bless us. And forgive us of all of our sins. And lead us into knowing you more and more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, you can take your bread and... Uh, 
you may take the bread and then you may take the juice, the wine, whatever you have in front of you, you may take that. Thank you, Lord, many times as we can. Jehovah Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless you. We pray, O oh God, for our lives. That as we partake of this, we remember what you did for us. We walk in, in strength. We walk with courage that we can stand on the rooftop, rooftops proclaiming your goodness, your greatness. And that we will be that salt. We will be that light. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Spirit of God, for being here with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Yes, thank you. Uh, you, may, you may take you to the best tree. <laughs> check, check. Yes. You can take it to the best tree and, uh, uh, and, and, and do the necessary. Buenas <laughs> tardes, Anna. Buenas tardes. Back there, can you hear me? Oh, yes, that's good. Yes, today, um, and I just uh, again want to just welcome you again uh, to this place. I, I know some of you have just arrived and in our Caribbean. Uh, this is ACMI, African Christian Missions. It's a, it's a department for, uh, under CCI that does missions and discipleship and a lot of other things. But we are not here to talk about that. Just wanted to do an introduction. My name is Paul uh, Moshe Mulani, and I'm born again. I love the Lord as my personal Savior. He saved me when I was uh, quite a young boy, I think about nine years old. And since then, uh, not that I've not gone through hardships, trials, and all of that. Uh, in fact, if I stand here and start giving you my story, we'll be here for a while. We will not be able to conclude the matters for the day. But I can tell you the Lord is good, and I has been good to me uh, throughout my salvation life, and I'm continuing to depend on him on everything. So, uh, today's meeting is uh, is quite unique even for us. Uh, we have not done this before. Uh, I, I believe uh, where did it come from, I think it's good for you to also hear and understand where it came from, uh, what is its uh, origin, and then where, where are we heading? Hmm? Where are we heading with all this? Because you're all sitting down so well, beautiful people, <laughs> born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, eh? bouncing, going to heaven, <laughs> feeling energetic. Eh? When, you are, when, when, when you talk about young people, and say, there's only one other couple, no, just other. only one person who's married, other other on, on this side. Yeah. Probably one. <laughs> wow, so you are young people. Between ages, I'm not going to tell you my Oh my goodness. <laughs> Isaac was one of the Abraham. 175. And he was a hundred and was and and yeah, this is like eh? this part of it. Yeah, so um, the, the origin of this is really, um, we were just, I think the spirit of the Lord came and, and we were asking ourselves how, uh, how do we have, um, we, we call ourselves Christians, we call ourselves churches, big churches, you know, we, we, we know, eh? we have answers. We are, we are the light. And to you, whoever hears these words of mine and obeys them shall be likened to a house that has been built upon a rock. The rains come down, I'm paraphrasing, and the floods come up, and the wind blows against it. COVID was a kind of a rain and a wind and a tempest to shake, to shake that which cannot hold water. And we have seen for ourselves all human inventions were shaken. Look at America, Shaky. Who would have thought there would be riots in America? Baka mtu anaingia na kitu kwa kiti ya speaker. Nani? But who is God? He is our rock. I know he is your rock. But today we are professing, we are confessing, we are telling the Father, you are my rock. You 
are my rock. You are the rock of my 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 life. Me, me as Ruth, me as Kim. You are my rock. And then we are saying, Lord, you are our rock in our teams in the churches as leaders. We don't know another foundation. Not our liturgy, not our mutaratara's. Those are no, those are unstable. They were shaken. We were at home. God resounded loudly. That everything came to nothing. But his word remains. Hallelujah. Amen. And he's our anchor. So pray for yourself. Let's pray for ourselves. Lord, you are my rock. Lord, you are my rock. I am confessing. I am professing. And I hear you. And I obey your words. And I am like a house that is built upon a rock. You are my foundation, Lord. You are the foundation of our teams, our leadership teams. We confess and say we are sorry for the times we have sought to found our leadership of other things, our traditions, our beliefs, and our philosophies. because we all are beginning to comprehend what love is. Father, we thank you because we all are beginning to see the big picture. Father, we thank you because you are rooting us in your love first. We thank you because you are bringing us to the place of understanding what it means to be your son. That Lord, then we may be able to walk in love towards one another. We thank you because you always hear us. Thank you are saying everything else we left behind and Christ alone stands as our foundation. Father, we thank you. We profess this of our churches. We profess this of our every activity we take part in our churches. That Lord, all these things have 
our foundation. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We have a sure foundation. And the sure foundation is Jesus himself. Hey, aren't we blessed? We are. Aren't we blessed? We are. I want to teach us a new word. You know, even as we advance in the kingdom, our language has to change. Hallelujah. My friend and I like the word conduit. Conduit is simply like by a channel. We're going to pray for ourselves that we become conduits of God's presence. What's your name? that you are a channel of God's presence. You go somewhere and you convey God Amen. in everything. Hallelujah. These are discussions that you, you speak the mind of God. Amen. Your ideas are from God. Your reasonings are from God. And I'm not saying Him alone. All of us, even us here, that's our desire. Eh? We want to be conduits, carriers, I like the way Paul says, the fullness of God dwells in you. He was praying for a church. And he was saying, um, he prays that the fullness of, that the church will realize that the fullness of God is in you. That means God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Lord, I want to be a channel. Tell the Father, I want to be a conduit for you. I want to be a channel for you. I want to be a carrier of your presence. I want to be a carrier of your ideas, of your thoughts, of your reasoning, of your computations, of your big picture. I want my words to be a conduit of your grace. The Bible says, let your words be of grace. Seasoned with salt. That you may know how you ought to answer one another. As leaders in our meetings, how do we talk to one another? That our words shall be of grace. We pray for our actions. That our actions shall be of grace. That our actions shall be righteous. They shall convey Christ in everything that we do. In our meetings, in our ideas. We pray for our fathers, Lord, that they too shall be conduits of your grace, conduits of your presence. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
Kali House. God is in that business right now and in the whole world. What we are doing is not new. Other people are doing it. So there's an awakening. I want you as you Lord, as you're moving, may I not be here. Just be clear right now. Tell God, as you're moving right now in the whole world, let me not be left. Let me not be left. Let my brothers and sisters know that I'm here in the world like never before. We hear the word of God. We have read in the word that in the latter days, in the last days, your glory will be seen. Let your glory be seen in me. Let your glory be seen, my brothers and sisters of God, as we bend our knee today. Lord is a sign of humbling ourselves. And thinker, thinker, you have ears. Thinker, we declare to you there is a crop that is arising. And oh, yes, Father, we are not here to build anybody's name. We are not here to build any denomination. We are not here to do our politics. But we are here because of your name. It is your name. Father, it is your name. Your name that is above every other name. And every day shall bow and declare that you are Lord and that you worship. Father, as we kneel down, we say it is you. And you will lift you. We lift you high, Jesus. Jesus Christ. You died on the cross. You are brought us together because of your love. Father, speak. Is changing. Thicker, you are changing. You are changing because of us. Every other narrative we've known from our mothers and our brothers and our sisters and our grandfather, you are changing. You are bowing to Jesus. Every altar that has been raised in this city of Sika, you are bowing to Jesus. Because you are going to use us, Lord. Yes. In every arena. Mm -hmm. Lord, I can see among us yes. you are raising great men and women yes. who are going to be people that are going to stand in truth. Yes. Who carry grace. Yes. Who have the fullness of God yes. wherever they are. In that church, it will change because they are there. Yes. Because they obey the voice today. Yes. Because this gathering is yours. Yes. And Lord, today, we will not walk in lack. Yes. Father, we might not see it now. Hustling has come out from our talk. Yes. We are sons in the kingdom. Yes.
got every reason to hear again The Father's love that draws me in And all my eyes want to see is a glimpse of you All I need is you